Hi, I'm Jason Woodward. I'm the designer of the Arena software that I'm now going to demonstrate for you. We give you several options for logging into the Arena, but for now we're going to skip and show you the main screen. So we'll press skip this for now. So again, the first time you come into the Arena, we give you a prompt to show you where to go to set up your controllers. So we're going to dismiss that and go to our settings screen. And again, we give you a prompt on what to do to pair a new controller. So again, we're going to dismiss that. So what we're going to do is touch the connect new. I'm going to grab a controller and I'm going to hold down the center GT button just for a second until I see the lights flash. The lights are flashing and I give it a moment and it will pair. So the first time you pair a device, you'll get a request from the operating system, a Bluetooth request. So just go ahead and accept that with pair. And then you'll see the controller comes up as player one. On the controller, the player one uh, indicator is highlighted. And now the controller is paired to the device so I can use the controller buttons to control. So I'm gonna talk about navigation for a little bit. The screen is both touchable, touch enabled, and controller enabled, so I can navigate using touch or I can navigate using the controller. So when the user first turns on the arena, they come to the home screen. On the home screen, you'll see on the very left is our buzz feed, and you'll see that that rotates uh, every 10 seconds where we can show news feed about Green Throttle and about the games that we support. We also show the recently played games on the device, and some feature games to be downloaded onto the device. So as you can see, we've got some nice large icons. The, uh, the highlight is nice and large. There's not too much going on, on the screen, but we wanted a nice simple presentation for when this is shown on a TV screen. Um, it doesn't look like your traditional mobile app discovery. It looks much more like a TV experience you'd expect from maybe a Netflix or an Apple TV. And that was designed on purpose. Okay, the next section of the arena is the My Game screen, which is next to home. The My Game screen shows a complete list of all the Green Throttle compatible games on the device. In the recommended section, you can browse through all of the games that are available on the platform. So we have a, a large section on this side to highlight our, our favorite games. And then on the right, there's a complete list of all the games that are currently available. If I navigate to Fishtails and I select that, I'll get a detailed description showing some screenshots, some information about the game, the number of controllers that supports, the version, and who developed the game. I can scroll this information. I can scroll, again, all using the controller. I can look at the screenshots. If I choose to, I can hit A to select Download. This will give me a notification that uh, I'm lo uh, leaving the support of the controller, so I can hit A, and it will launch the Amazon App Store, which requires touch, as our controllers are not supported. Here I can just simply touch download, and it will now install the game. If I hit back, I come back to our arena. Now that Fishtails is downloaded, you can see that it appears along with the other Green Throttle compatible games that are installed on your, lit, on your device in the My Games screen. So I'll go ahead and navigate and launch Fishtails by pressing A. Now, as you can see, without touching the device, Fishtails launches. And when the game is started, I can play. So this is Fishtails. Now imagine I've played the game and I want to go back to the arena. I still don't have to touch the device, I simply touch the GT button. A prompt asks me if I want to go back to the arena, I select yes. And then I'm back in the arena without having to touch the device. The final section is the settings menu. This you'll be familiar with from pairing the controllers. Here you can disable or enable up to four controllers. You can also check for updates to the arena service. 
Now we're going to complete the 10 foot experience by plugging the Kindle into the TV, which is as simple as connecting a micro HDMI cable. And now you see the arena appears on the TV. So by connecting the controllers and the HDMI cable, we now have a 10 foot experience. And by 10 foot means I can operate my Kindle from the couch. And that's the arena in a nutshell. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We know you're gonna enjoy the controllers.